graphically. Oh, I love graphically. So there's two ways of going about graphically. Um, Both if, are correct. Right. And, but the book does specify the way it wants you to do it. Right. However, we are free wheeling thinkers. Okay. So as long as you are algebraically correct. Right. As long, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, they tell you in the book to get everything on one side and then put it into Y1 and find the X-intercepts. And right. that's a great way of doing it. And in a lot of ways that can actually be easier. The yes. other way of doing it is to put the left side in as Y1, the right side in as Y2, and then find where they intersect. Right. Sometimes finding where they intersect that can be really difficult. is rough. Whereas if you get everything on one side and you're looking for where it goes to the x-axis, you at least know, hey, it should be somewhere on the right. x-axis. Right. So those are your drawbacks. And sometimes if you have a really wacky Y value potentially or an X value, um, if you're trying to find the y1 equaling y2 part, it can be really it can be really hard. Yeah. So uh, so so just get everything on one side, and so it might it's quicker to move the square root over and do zero equals six minus two, absolute value five minus x, and then minus the square root of x plus six, which we moved. Now this is a good opportunity for us to tell you that the absolute value button is in the math menu if you're on a ti 83 or 84 it's math and then number math num and then abs. and it's the very first one abs and if on the on older a, ones it gives you abs with parentheses right. newer calculators puts the bars for right you. in the inspire you can just type in abs so six minus absolute value five minus Did x you put two? minus you put yes two? yep okay. i got the two all right we're good to go so we're going to graph that sucker now when you graph Especially if you did some uh, scatter plotting earlier, you would want to zoom standard. Now that's not always the best window to look at. But it's at, a good start. But it's a good start. Zoom like six. It gets you neighborhood ish of the origin with a good view. Yeah. Yeah. Now we uh, should have a calculator up. Yes, we while, do. While yeah. we're doing yeah. this, so you should see that we've got like a downward V. Right. And now the steps on figuring out where those x-intercepts are is to use the calculate menu. You right. Do, so that's going to be second trace. Yeah. Second trace on your old calculators. And if you're looking for where you cross the x-axis, that's actually called a zero. Right. Or if you have a really old calculator, it's called a root. Ooh. Yeah. That's old. Yeah, that's. <laughs> now, whenever you do this on either calculator, it's going to ask you um, for either two or three things. It's going to ask you for a left bound, so you want to move to the left of a zero, or a lower bound, depending a, on your calculator. Right, and so you want to go to one side of your zero, and then it's going to ask you for the other side. So you have to move the cursor to the other side of the zero, and then on 83s and 84s, it asks you to guess. Well, I don't know why it asks you to guess. I think it's an awkward in-between step. Yeah, so you can just press enter when it says guess, or you can move it closer to the zero. But anyway, the zero closest to the origin is 3.545. Notice I used three decimal places. Yep, those AP graders really like to see three decimal places. So that's how we're going to practice three decimal that's places. Right. You are allowed to round or truncate. Yep. Truncate is a fancy word for cutting off. So I could have put... Uh, Three, four, four four. Yeah, I could have put four four, and that would also be correct. So same process, but now we're gonna go left and right on the other zero. We get to the right-handed side, and after the guessing is six and a quarter. Ooh, no round. Six and required. a quarter. It's your minimum wage back in 1972. It's not. Oh well, what was it? Wasn't it six twenty-five? That might have been the purchasing, purchasing power. power. Okay. It's okay. All right. All right. Have fun.